everybody, Davos in here. Welcome back to the channel. So you probably have seen my last video. If not, then go check it out. But the last video we made, it was about the owning a wrap shop in 2022. Um, and also a little bit about the car that we have in there right now. Um, the car is awesome. It's, it's a Toyota Venza, Veneza, something like that. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but I had to order the wrap, the vinyl, all the way from California. So it finally came here like two days ago. It's time to go check it out. Go see how she's looking. But before we get to that, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe button because it really helps out me, my family. We all appreciate it and we love growing and sharing all of our stuff with you guys. And the more likes and, and uh, subscribers we get, the more YouTube pushes our stuff out. So with all that aside here is the color it's looking snappy so right now we have the hood done front fender this whole quarter panel big piece here pass rear passenger door done she's working on the or rear driver's side door done so i meant to say she's working on the driver's door now go over this way do -do -do. Boom, got all this done too. So we got this whole quarter panel done. Now, obviously you'll see here, like we're not done with the head, with the taillights, we gotta take them out. I gotta pick up a special tool tomorrow to get them out. Um, but doors are done. The, uh, whatever you wanna call it, the bottom there is done. We have the fender to do. And then this side is done. So it's looking great. And this is like two days in, so wife is killing it right now. Alrighty, so we found out that that little um actual socket that we needed um to get the, t the taillight out um the one we bought wasn't the right one so we're running out to all and see if we can grab one real quick but while we were out there or while we're getting ready to go we found out that there is a car meet going on at AutoZone tonight just a little just a little one um so we we're like oh you know what Let's roll out there. It's already in our town. We're already going there. So let's just take both cars. But check out this Volkswagen Jetta. Just came in, getting a nice little roof wrap going on. Um, we finished the car. We had a detail today. It's outside now. Um, so we've been working all day. But uh, yeah, this thing actually looks really cool. Really cool. It was my first time ever driving one. It's stick. Completely did not understand the whole you got to push it down to get it in reverse. I had to watch a YouTube video to figure out how to put it in reverse. Yeah, it was kind of embarrassing. But yeah, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Let's uh, go start up the cars and see how we're uh, see how we're sounding with a nice little cold start. It was like fifty some today, and then now it's like eighteen. So I love Pennsylvania weather. You ready? Yep. Clear prop. <laughs> Here we go. For a little bit of lunch or dinner. <laughs> Buffalo chip. Look at this boy. It's a thick boy. We were only going to get two slices, but then he said, if you buy three, I'll make you a whole new pizza. We were like, I like that. I'll eat this tomorrow. This thing's going to kill me. This thing's, it's like, it's like, a, it's like a pound, pound and a half. They're way bigger than all right, everybody, so we just ate. Um, we're gonna head back over to the car meet. We went there at first, there's only like six or seven cars there, so we're gonna head back over. It warmed up a little bit. It's actually 24 degrees outside, but I'm freezing. So I got the heated seats on, the heat on. Oh, got my stomach full. I'm like shivering like crazy. Um, it's probably all shaky on the camera. Uh, let me see if I can. Okay, so. We're gonna head back over there, see what else is going on. If anybody is there, we'll stop, say hi, see if there's any cool cars. If not, we are going home because I'm cold. 
and the wife, she's not happy that we're out here. She's cold. All right. Got a nice white Mustang over here. Let's see. Uh, and I think it is a, I don't think it's a 5 -0. Nope. Hmm. All right, so we're out here. She's not too happy. She's cold. She wants to go home. A uh, bunch of Volkswagens pulled up. Um, not sure what they're going to do. As we were pulling up, some kids, like, trying to do a burnout and, like, drop, just drop the clutch, dump the clutch, and it was, like, just being an idiot and like swerving all over the place in his little Honda Civic and it's 24 degrees out here so I'm not gonna have some kid wreck into one of our cars um because they yeah not gonna do that so we're gonna look and see if there's anyone else coming for like the next couple minutes and if not we are heading home because I still got a lot of stuff we got to do so broke their necks photo lot going on right here. Oh, it's so cool. Oh, it's the open house thing. There you go. Boom. We're over there, yep. she's trying to get someone's attention. He's not looking, so. <laughs> Got old Blue and his F-150 rolling out with all of his rock lights. That Mustang do be looking nice, though, when you're this close to it. It's kind of looking fresh. Driver's kind of hot over there. Dang, but she apparently she's cold. I think she's hot. I know a lot of you do too, weirdos. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff that comes with our car beat right there. Lowered, slammed, static, like that. All right, so these guys over here, I don't know if you guys can see them, they've been staring at the car. <laughs> Now we start a little rev off. Go ahead, girl. That's so cute. All right, ladies and gents, so it's the next day. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the roof wrap on the Volkswagen Jetta. Um, it's gonna look really good, it's gloss black. It's gonna, it's gonna really, you know, give the car some nice accents to it. Um, so first things first, we're going to drop the headliner out of it, take the antenna off. Um, but the wife's going to do that. She's really good at taking the headliners out while she's doing that. I'm going to go ahead and take the taillights out of the Venza. I, I keep calling it Venza. Is it Venza or Veneza? Yeah, Venza. Venza. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead, take, take these out. Had to get extra long sockets, um, because the ones that we had weren't fitting right. Um, it weren't long enough, uh, so, because I, like, like, I'll see if I can get it on camera. It's really, like, deep in there, um, but basically, it has a 10 mil on it, but there's, like, a, it's, like, a, I want to call it a bolt, but it doesn't have any really threads on it, um, so it's just basically a, a long piece of metal, like that, that you have to go, uh, you have to go over to get to the nut, um, and it's like there's only like three threads on that thing, and then it's just regular. So I, I honestly I don't understand the point of it. Um, but they just want to be pain in the butt, so I had to go out and get that stuff. Um, so yeah, let's uh, see if we can get this thing done. So I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it. Where is it at? It's right down in there. So it's right in here. Uh, you can see it's sticking out, but you got to go in through the back side of it. And that's just one of them. There's another one back there even farther. But yeah, pain in the butt. All right, so we got the roof all prepped now. Got our beautiful knifeless tape on here. Got it all tucked in there. Takes a little bit, a little bit of patience, but it goes a long way because it's a perfect, perfect cut. Um, so now it's time to get the old vinyl out and get ready to start laying. So I'm gonna go get the tripod so you guys can see it. So 
So we had to call the customer on this one um, because we, we, we were letting him bring his own vinyl, which we never do. Um, but he said it was a 3M brand, which it, technically it was. Um, but the company that sold him this, that shipped it to him, I mean, this stuff is very old. It's not what we use. It's like razor, razor thin. Um, the backing of it. Yeah, the backing of it, it's like, it's, it's from old 3M. Um, so, so yeah, so technically, like, so technically, yes, it is 3M, but they, they didn't do them, they did them dirty. So I called them and I was like, hey, look, this is how it is. I was like, we can redo it with our stuff if you want. I was like, I feel a lot more comfortable with that. He was like, yeah, go ahead and do it. Um, just because, one, I don't want to put our name out there and do something and charge someone for something and it not be perfect. And this stuff, the way this vinyl is, and it just being old and all that stuff, it's going to be far from perfect. Um, so, well, not far from perfect, but it won't be good. Um, so, it won't be up to our standards. So, we're going to take it off after we just try to get all that on and replace it with our good stuff that we know will go right on. And it should be a quickie. Show you guys how bad that vinyl was. Like, all the knife was tape stayed in there it was not sticking in the cracks now it, granted it did stick up here but that was because we heated it back up and we like activated the adhesive basically so the adhesive will stick on without heating it up but when you heat it up it like really activates it and it starts sticking we didn't heat it up in here um but still like this stuff is very easy to come off like right here like i'll push it down it like takes like no pressure at all to come off um and it wasn't even pulling it up so yeah the stuff it was just really old and thin like you saw how it was ripping through it's just because it's an older vinyl now granted like yes that was what vinyl was like maybe a couple years old like vinyl has come such a long way like that stuff didn't have a protectant on it so the stuff that we use has a like um it looks like saran wrap basically on it it's like a clear coat so that when you're squeegeeing it you're not scratching it so then you get the whole thing on and then you pull that clear coat off and it's perfect underneath. And that's what we like to do because it makes it so it looks perfect. We're gonna wipe it down again and then we're gonna do take two of the time lapse. And this one, you should notice a little bit of a difference. Just saying. For greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset That one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Don't try to stop me I exist to remember your story I'll You notice that little slow-mo She came over and uh, fixed all my mistakes She's way better than I am I'm not afraid to say it So We're almost done now But that took What? 10 minutes, yeah, 10 minutes, and the last one to get it right probably took about 40, 40 minutes, and we didn't we only had half of it right. It's just the material, the material matters so much, and that's why we like, we stress, we only use the material that we know is good. Uh, a lot of companies out there, they make vinyl, they'll make like digital camo patterns on vinyl and stuff like that. It's cool, but it's not, a lot of them are not the good brands, and the good brands, they cost money, they do, they are, they're more expensive, but it's because of the quality of the material is so much better. So much better. But I mean, look at this thing already looks, I can't wait. Can't wait to show you guys the knifeless tape. They're gonna love that part. All right, she's about to pull this on. Now notice she's not cutting on the car. She's cutting to get a seam for the knifeless tape to go in, just like that. There you go. Let's see this bad girl in progress. Oh yeah. Oh, there it is. There she is. Hand her, hand her off. Ahoy. Ahoy, mateys. Okay. Crispy. 
Now we'll pull this one. Mm. And now we tuck. Now it's time to tummy tuck. Look at this film. See all these right here? All these scratches, right? Scratches from the squeegees going on, stuff like that. Now, for long, we still gotta tuck this little guy, though. We gotta tuck this little line right here. The hair is halfway tucked over there. She's looking fresh down that way. So, all right, so see all that? There you go. You can start to kind of see the scratches. There, there they are. All right, go ahead. Peel her back. Oh, she's tucked. Oh, there ain't nothing there. Oh, baby, like glass. Out they go, another happy customer. Gotta love hey, it. Everybody, dad bought season here. This is day four of the wrap, we'll say. Um, we had some other stuff come up. Got the bumper knocked out last night. We got to trim it and everything like that, but we got it all on there. Um, it's currently present today. Um, she's gonna go ahead and knock out the other side fender. And then once that is done, I'm gonna get the bump, the front bumper back on and start buttoning everything back up, up front here. Um, that means the whole front end of the car will be done. And then we just have the trunk, the back bumper, and this little piece up here to do. And this thing will be done. Um, oh, nope, and we have the chrome delete. We have the chrome delete coming up today too. Um, so hopefully we're going to knock out as much as we can today. Um, it is President's Day. Um, so moving a little slow this morning. But a little pick-me-up is going to be going to get some breakfast. So again, I'm going to take the wife's Mustang. I actually, I really enjoy driving the Mustang, honestly. The Super is fun, um, but the Mustang's like... Oh no, it's just different. I mean, just. And it's supposed to be really nice out today. So that's why I don't know how much we're really going to get done today. Um, because we might take the car down and get a little photo shoot going on. Um, not really sure yet. But we're going to try to get as much done as we can with this car today and see how fast we can go. 